please welcome Candace Jordan. Hello, friends, and welcome to another year of Rev Up Chicago. My name is Candace Jordan, and I'm so excited to join AIBI and all of you to celebrate Chicago fashion. Tonight, we will premiere six new fashion films featuring the work of talented Chicago designers. Each film helps to spotlight the designer's unique voice and offers a chance to really experience these garments in a new way. So often these days, we end up having to take our chances with online purchases without being able to check the quality of the garment, let alone the fit. But getting to see these garments in motion and not hanging limply on a rack really showcases the effort that went into designing and creating each piece. Work like that doesn't happen overnight. For over 30 years, the Apparel Industry Board and Apparel Industry Foundation have helped designers and garment makers every step of the way. Tonight, we're looking to raise $25,000 to continue the educational programs, scholarships, and rebuild the industry infrastructure to keep you in the clothing of your dreams. Let's take a look at what AIBI has been doing this year. Hello, I'm Amber Campos, Executive Director of the Apparel Industry Board and Apparel Industry Foundation. And my name is Kat Anderson. I'm the Member Services Coordinator. 2020 and 2021 have proven more than ever the importance that community has in these fashion and apparel industries. In the last two years, we've added two new programs to the AIFI umbrella that we are proud to share with you tonight. With the magic of technology, we also were able to keep programs like our Business of Fashion seminars and our established entrepreneurs group connected through a virtual platform. AIFI additionally collaborated with community partners like Chicago Fair Trade, Conscious Closet Club, the Wayshed Community Reuse Center, and the Center for Creative Entrepreneurship. The Foundation annually awards college scholarships to support the study of fashion design, creating greater access to and equity within the field. Tonight we are awarding two winners, as well as announcing the first recipient of our new Designer in Residence Scholarship Program. With this new scholarship program, one emerging designer will be chosen each year as the designer in residence at our AIBI Fashion Lab. For one year, they'll receive AIBI membership, unlimited access to the Fashion Lab and all its resources, as well as attendance to all Business of Fashion seminars. In addition, the designer in residence will be working with AIBI to set a project goal for themselves, which could be anything from leveling up their construction skills or fleshing out their business plan even creating a four-look mini collection. The progress of their designer project will be presented at next year's Rev Up, but you'll hear more about that in a bit. Within days of the pandemic shutdown, local theater and costuming professionals realized they had valuable skills to share and banded together to found Artist Resource Mobilization. AISI stepped in to act as their fiscal sponsor so they could receive tax-deductible donations, which helped provide work for 38 artists in the last 18 months. As the needs grew, ARM quickly became an integral part of AIFI programming, and we are happy to say that they have officially joined forces with us. ARM also provided an opportunity to bring the apparel and costume professionals closer together, and we worked with seven local designers and brands to produce their goods locally. With the needs for masks winding down, ARM will continue to facilitate good jobs for Chicago costume artists while supporting local communities. Another new program, Conscious Costume, educates and empowers costume professionals by providing resources and community to galvanize a more ethical, inclusive, and circular world. Joining forces with a legacy organization like AISI gave Conscious Costume access to growth opportunities through grants and community outreach. In turn, Conscious Costume also brings sustainable programming to AISI through educational events, a textile drive this year that diverted over 6,000 pounds of textiles from the landfill. We also hosted two fabric sales to recycle fabrics through the apparel and costume communities. In 2021, we moved Conscious Costume from 150 square foot space to a 400 square foot space and rapidly expanded our collections. We accepted donations from Steppenwolf Theater and Northwestern University while providing costumes to a variety of area productions. Everything from educational theater to a TV series being filmed locally. In fact, 
the weekend of Rev Up Chicago, Conscious Costume is co-sponsoring a textile swap and drive with the Chicago Green Theater Alliance. The Apparel Industry Foundation has also been strengthening partnerships with neighboring organizations across Chicago, especially on the topics of sustainability and equitable labor. With Chicago Fair Trade and the Chicago Conscious Closet Club, we've collaborated on Fashion Revolution Week events, a National Thrift Shop Day panel, and created a reoccurring workshop entitled Demystifying Your Sewing Machine. The foundation is also paired with the Creative Reuse Center, The Waste Shed, on a unique sustainability-focused event called Discard Disco. Discard Disco includes a trash fashion show where local artists and designers use donated materials to create brand new upcycled outfits. We're excited to celebrate the third annual Discard Disco coming up on February 10th, 2022. We are forever evolving to the changing landscape of the garment industry. With that in mind, we have several new programs in the works. In partnership with the Center for Creative Entrepreneurship, we are developing a self-paced online learning platform set to launch in spring 2022. One of the greatest challenges our industry faces is the lack of training for skilled stitching positions. AIBI means to alleviate these issues by working towards an apprenticeship program with our local manufacturers. And starting next year, we hope to grow not only membership and monthly and limited pass holders, but add an additional two designers in residence. Our goal to continue to expand programs means taking on more financial commitments annually and moving forward. That's where you come in. Your donations are an essential part of this equation. With your help, we can achieve this and so much more. If you want to be our partner in these initiatives, simply click the donate button at AIBI.com. Oh, welcome back. As a reminder, you have until 7.45 p.m. to get your raffle tickets. Visit AIBI.com to see our prizes and purchase tickets. Raffle tickets are $25 each or five for 100. And we'll be drawing the winners at the end of the broadcast and posting on AIBI's Instagram stories. What could you win? How about a Tibetan wool wristlet from Rebellion? A one-of-a-kind silken wool capelet from Lauren Line? $150 worth of Tricochi hair products? and many others. See AIBI.com for a full list of prizes. All proceeds go to maintaining and growing the fashion and apparel industry right here in Chicago through programs like business of fashion seminars, mentorships, and building supply chain networks. Proceeds from raffle tickets also go to the many scholarships AIFI awards. Students are our future. That's why the Apparel Industry Foundation awards these tuition scholarships every single year to students in a local fashion program. This year, we're excited to be awarding two tuition scholarships.
bright futures ahead for Irving and Adeline. As you can see behind us, we're currently standing in the AIBI Fashion Lab. It houses industrial sewing machines, a Gerber computer pattern making system, and cutting tables enabling designers to build their entire collections all in one place. This type of infrastructure is critical for emerging designers. That is why we are launching a brand new program this year. For the first time, AIFI will host a designer in residence at the AIBI Fashion Lab. Over the summer, we held a competition to find the best candidate for this program. We're happy to announce the winner, Blair Goldman, as AIBI's first designer in residence. You can follow Blair's journey through this program on the AIBI Instagram, as well as get updates on other scholarships and educational opportunities. For more information about the Designer in Residence program, please visit AIBI.com. Now back to Candace. From the student and emergent talent to designers with decades of fashion experience, AIBI continues to serve in a broad capacity. This last year found them adding a new hat that of media production, with a series of educational videos found on their YouTube channel, as well as the fashion films you'll see in just a minute. We're very excited to showcase all six local Chicago designers, including two new brands that we're proud to debut here tonight. We start with Elda De La Rosa, a highly prominent and recognized couture designer from Chicago with a national and international following. The prestige of her atelier is grounded in her sensibility for designs. Inspired by vintage detail and created with an unmistakable feminine flair and impeccable attention to fit, this is the Hermosa Collection.
And now we switch gears to the whimsical Lauren Line, nationally known for her gala gowns and CEO suits and even designer masks. She has recently exploded on the scene with iconic digital prints woven into her designs. From nature's finest butterflies to Chicago sidewalks to historic family photos, these trademark prints set Lauren apart and keep her timeless designs fresh. The latest heritage prints are designed by her husband, Thomas P. Cavanaugh. Lauren uses fine natural fabrics from across the globe as well to create her sustainable statement pieces that will last a lifetime. Lauren's curtain collection, called Dorothy's Final Curtain Call, is an homage to her late mother. But instead of modeling, these are pieces that are where whimsical meets practical, wearable art. Can you guess which pieces are made of the family curtains? <laughs> Lori Borsay Paris is an international couture designer from Chicago, designing between here and Sister City Paris. Her designs are created exclusively by the designer herself, handmade from her original sketch to the final creation. From her vision of sculptured lines and her sensitivity to the touch and color of fabrics, Lori escalates her inspiration to create, design, develop, and sculpt pieces of art for you, the woman.
Rebellion by Stephanie Wheat handbags are made from upholstery grade leathers and beautiful fur pelts. Chicago based, they are handmade, many with detachable straps that allow Rebellion bags to be carried in multiple ways. They offer the perfect travel options from wristlets that allow hands-free bracelet style wearing to oversized weekend bags carried internationally. Lightweight and comfortable to carry with an edge of modern fashion, Rebellion designs are timeless. That's why you really strong I've stayed here too long But something brings me back to you I swear we belong I'm still hanging on But something brings me back to you Back to you Back to you Back to you Stom is a high fashion brand with a sustainable purpose. With the collection stash, designer Gila Geller uses upcycled vintage and discarded fabrics to make luxurious one-of-a-kind pieces. I keep hearing something in the wind I keep coming back to you, my friend Think I'm feeling something new again Never going back, just take my hand
lightning bolt Deep in your heart you know We made it so far You know we're two stars Don't wanna miss the view Of some paradise with you There's nowhere too far Coming out the dark I keep hearing something in the wind I keep coming back to you my friend Think I'm feeling something new again Never going back to Swap and Strut is a women's made-to-order clothing brand with a mission to empower women to feel gorgeous, pursue their dreams, and uplift marginalized women from poverty. Swap and Strut is more than just cute clothes. It's a brand that has embedded giving back to women within its core operations. All clothes are designed in-house by our founder, Jocelyn, a 28-year-old self-taught fashion designer and handmade by women in Chicago who are paid a fair and livable wage. To support our mission, Swap and Strut donates 1% of all sales to charitable organizations aimed at bettering the lives of marginalized women. Let's give a big hand to all of our designers showcased tonight who put the chic in Chicago and our scholarship winners. Thank you all for joining us tonight. The raffle may be over, but you can still make donations through November 15th. Every dollar helps us increase programming, mentor more designers, and rev up Chicago fashion. There are so many to thank for this year's rev up. I hope you will all stay for the credits to help us acknowledge those who made this virtual event such a success.
for supporting. Now, let's dance. Is that stupid, Francis?